Hello everyone. So today we're going to be taking a look at my FX cabinet. Uh, I promised you guys a video like two weeks ago. So here we have uh, an FX. Normally runs NX Absolute, but uh, that game's kind of boring at this point. So I'm going to show off a fresh installation of Debian and OpenITG. So somebody posted up a very nice guide last week on how to install Debian, how to set up the drivers, and how to set up the uh, memory cards. I have not tried the memory cards yet. I hear it's a little tricky and a little flaky, so uh, I'll wait for that to stabilize a little bit more before I give it a shot. But here we have uh, pretty much the desktop with a uh, root level terminal running so that we get the input on the pads. Uh, I saw people post videos up a while back and they could not get input for anything. Uh, I guess the issue is that you have to be the root user so that you get access to the live USB stuff. So here we have a terminal window. I'm just gonna do a shortcut, press up for my last command, and uh, oops, that was the clear command. Uh, that was the wrong command. There we go. All right, so we've got the just start open ITG command. This is uh, the latest revision that's still stable, uh, 7.38, compiled it today. So you get all the fancy little loading stuff. I don't have a USB thing set up yet, and Back to pad navigation since I have no button board on here. And again, all of the normal pump it up stuff. Uh, every mix on here. Still haven't resynced some of these, but whatever. I'll get to it eventually. Yeah, sorry, I can't show you any of these yet. Yeah, totally ripped off ITG3, I know. So let's just scroll lock, stick that in the menu. Uh, let's take a look at the cabinet itself. So just like every other effects, uh, power button in here. Uh, you get the front speakers, the subwoofer, and the master. So fronts, sub, master. Sub is pretty much cranked all the way to max and there's still very little bass coming out of this thing. Uh, I heard from a couple of people that might be the wiring underneath here that uh, the company actually crossed the wires on a lot of FX, of, of the uh, FX cabinets. So probably going to check that out, see if those wires are crossed. I just have to take this apart and I don't feel like doing it anytime soon. And then we got test and service buttons. No big surprise there. One adds credits, the other one goes to the service menu. And the awesome coin reader. Yeah, nothing really special there. Takes your coins. So in the back here, I already got the back panel off. Some soundboard, power conversion stuff. Uh, probably not the best way to set up these hard drives, but I'm kind of in a rush today. Open ITG drive is just sitting on top of NXA. Uh, this is a Mark 9 unit. The uh, only reason I had to do a fresh Linux install is because uh, the ITG image that I used on my Mark 6 and Mark, I'm just going to call it a Mark X. But uh, the one I used for that does not work on a Mark 9 at all. Video drivers are not compatible. So, fresh install, everything runs great now. And I got this thing hooked up to the internet. Uh, then we got two USB cables that run to the front. 
then there's the wire that solders onto the JAMA board so that it only works with the pump mix running or open ITG. Uh, PS2 keyboard extension cord, power that runs into the machine, and some more power conversion stuff. Back of the LEDs, if you can see it over there, the big blue square. The LEDs are extremely bright. They are amazing. Uh, the pad LEDs are also extremely amazing, but the OpenITG drivers don't handle lighting very well. I guess it can be reprogrammed or just configured in some way, but I don't feel like tinkering with it. Let's see what else is in this menu that's interesting. Let's see what test lights does. Okay, so test lights doesn't... Oh, okay, there we go. Ow. Okay, so it's a little screwy, but... What can you do? It's programmed for four panel. Uh, input... Yeah, I need to transfer in that uh, new test input from ITG3, which actually I can show off right now. Yeah, this test input is pretty darn sweet. Uh, I give Lightning a lot of props for this one, and I'm sure Mark had a, a role to play in this. But uh, I really like it. So that's probably going to make its way into my theme in the near future. Uh, 737. I think that's close enough to what this is running. Seven thirty-eight. All right. Well, that's pretty much everything for this. Uh, if anybody has any pump it up sim files that they want played? Just send them over. Uh, yeah, that's about all I got. Later, guys.